Hey, Brandon here, host of the Debbie Deep Dive podcast and creator of the Debbie Dashboard. Welcome to my channel and thanks for tuning in. I'm super excited about this rookie profile film on wide receiver from UCLA, Mr. Kyle Phillips. Now, he's not a household name. Uh, he's going to be a late draft pick, day three pick, no doubt. But nonetheless, I'm excited to dig into his film. I think he could be a sleeper for us in our late rookie rounds. So if you enjoy this profile film and the others that I posted on this channel, please hit that subscribe button. You can follow me on Twitter at Debbie Deep Dive. And um, if you're interested in the Debbie dashboard, which is the ultimate Debbie resource and C2C resource, hit me up uh, the show notes. I've got my email address. Reach out and I will send you some information. And please leave a comment. Uh, I've been really enjoying the comments on the Rookie Profile film series that I've been putting out on this channel. Love interacting with all of you guys. So got tons of great content. We're going to do a lot more Rookie Profile films as well as Debbie and C2C content in the spring and summer, getting you ready for 2022 fall ball. So again, hit that subscribe button. All right. So yeah, let's talk about Kyle Phillips, right? You know, we all have our players in Dynasty and that we watch through college and our C2C leagues, Debbie leagues that you just kind of fall in love with, right? And Mr. Kyle Phillips is a guy that I've been high on uh, for a couple years. Not the flashiest player in the world, not the most you know fastest guy in the world, but I just feel like he has a role in the NFL as a future slot receiver. So I'm excited to get into his polit- his uh, his profile. Uh, we're going to do a little film watching, kind of break down his tape. Britt Sanders is going to join us with a very interesting analytical profile, which you're going to see here very shortly. But you know, he was a four star receiver coming out of uh, high school. And, uh, you know, UCLA is just not an explosive offensive team in general. Chip Kelly, you know, prefers to run the ball. Zach Charbonnet, you know, really led the Bruins this year uh, with touches. And, you know, they're a run first team. And Kyle Phillips did a really nice job. So let's get kind of look at his production profile. He's five foot 11, 191 pounds. He's going to be 22 in the draft come April. But as you can see, you know, he's a four year guy. He's a senior. And he really had a great season in 2021 with 59 receptions, 100, or 739 yards, 12.5 yards uh, on average with 10 TDs. Back in 2020, you know, we had the COVID season, so it was a short Pac-12 uh, season in general, uh, and he was still pretty productive as well. So I think his junior numbers in 2020 uh, would have been extremely favorable and would have helped his, his analytical profile, rather. Um, but nonetheless, I mean, I'm looking at 2021. Well, that's the tape we're going to watch today. Um, you know, so let's take a look at his market share numbers. You know, he was 27% uh, receiving yards, uh, you know, which isn't a dominating type figure. Uh, receiving targets, 28%. Um, offensive yards, 13.9, and touchdowns, 18. All of those numbers don't translate to an elite prospect. I get it. But nonetheless, we're going to take a look at his film here shortly, and I'm, I like what I see. Now, as far as uh, some PFF stats, completion percentage, 60 point, 62.8, which is, uh, you know, it's good. It's not fantastic, you know, but I'm one who thinks, uh, you know, the Thompson uh, Robinson, uh, you know, just was not the best quarterback. He was not the most consistent quarterback. So certainly, uh, you know, getting him the ball, you, a lot of film. I watched a ton of film on this guy, and there were a lot of errant balls and tough catches that Kyle Phillips had to make. And we're going to see some of those here shortly. You know, his yards per reception, 12.5, which we mentioned already, his yak yards per reception, something I'd like to look at with six. You know, that's not, you know, elite, but this guy is not a down the field yak kind of guy. He is going to be a, a winner in the short and intermediate parts of the field, and we're going to see that here very shortly. And snaps, he was a slot guy, right? 92% of the slots, uh, his snaps came from the slot, did line up vertical a little bit, but most of the damage he did was in the slot, and um, I think that's what his role is going to be at the next level as well. All right, so I, like I said a couple of minutes ago, Britt Sanders has a very interesting analytical profile. He is the analytics guru on the Debbie dashboard. Certainly appreciate his thoughts and comments, so you're going to enjoy this uh, little uh, note here from Britt. Hey, Brandon. Let's go ahead and talk about Kyle Phillips and this interesting analytical profile. So Kyle Phillips, the good part is that he has a breakout age of 20. It wasn't an elite breakout, but at least he broke out, which shows that he's going to mark a bin off for being potentially being successful in the NFL. He also has a pretty nice career dominator rating of 29.45 and a weighted dominator rating, a career weighted dominator rating of 27.32. He was a special teams contributor, which shows that he was, he is efficient or he's good in the open field. And his senior season, he absolutely saved his, his collegiate profile. 
He had his senior season a yards per team pass attempt of 2.29. He had a yards per route run of 2.11. And he had a monster dominator rating, I believe. I think of upwards of 30%. The problem with that is that that was his age 22 season. So you have a person that's 22 years old that's been in college for four years and is playing against 18 and 19 year olds. So yeah, he should be dominating, but you would want him to dominate sooner. Uh, also, he isn't, I'm not projecting him to be extremely fast. He's got a high adjusted speed score of 94.74. I mean, honestly, he's a flyer. Uh, his profile isn't gleaming. And if there's someone that I'm going to be taking a stab at, this isn't really the profile that I'm looking for. All right. Well, after watching that tidbit, you might be saying to yourself, oh, I'm out on Kyle Phillips. I'm a film guy, right? I appreciate analytical profiles as well, um, but I, I like to see what I see on the field. I am not going to knock the lack of production and early production against Kyle Phillips. Like I said, this is not one of the elite receivers in the uh, class this year. This is a round four or five round rookie draft guy that I'm trying to bring to your attention that might be a guy, if he lands in a great spot, uh, he could have a role in the NFL. So let's just talk about real quick before you know we take a look at his film. We're going to take a talk about his strengths and weaknesses. I mean, you're going to see here shortly, he is a really good route runner. He really, you can tell by watching him on the field that he he's a technician. He 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 kind of uses different tempos in his routes. He's he's trying to manipulate defenders. And that's what I like most about his game. His senior production profile, I think, is pretty solid given the uh the offense that UCLA ran. Um, again, with that run first offense. So, you know, from a production standpoint in his uh, final season, if we just look at his final season numbers and his d dominator and his yards per route run and all of that for his 2021 season, I think I, th I feel as though the analytics are a little better than his overall career there in college. All right. And he's a punt returner. So he did have some special teams ability. Now a team, we're going to look at that too here shortly. Uh, you know, again, anytime a wide receiver has the ability to contribute in special teams. I think that is a um, is is a good thing for draft capital. A team is going to say, hey, you know, maybe we can work with Kyle Phillips in the slot. We need a slot receiver, but we can use him on special teams. Uh, the Eagles, uh, my Philadelphia Eagles, could certainly use someone uh, like Kyle Phillips. I'd love to see him land there because we really need help on special teams. But his weaknesses, he had six drops on the season. Again, we talked about a 62% completion percentage, which isn't elite by any means. Um, he's got average speed. You're going to see he's not going to be a burner who's going to go down the field again. He's going to be a short and intermediate target, and I think he can excel in that role. Um, and his versatility, right? Because he's limited to the slot, he's not going to wide, you know, line up wide, most likely outside in the NFL. He is going to be really a slot um, receiver. So that's going to limit his versatility, at least on the offensive side of the of the field uh, when he is on the field. So, um, all right, man. So let's just get to it. Let's see what he looks like out on the field. All right, welcome to the film room. Super excited. I got a lot of all 22 in this film, so we're going to be able to get a bird's eye view of Kyle Phillips. The first trait we're going to take a look at is his release and route running. Um, I feel like just watching him play, he has been working on his route running through tempo, uh, through defensive manipulation. Um, you know, he runs a lot of out routes, slant routes, short area quickness. Uh, so this is what we're going to see when we watch his film here. Again, a little footwork there. And, you know, the, the goal is to get the defender to get off balance so he doesn't know what you're doing. He's stutter stepping there. You know, again, creates a little space, shows a little physicality there, which is nice. Really nice play here. This defender kind of falls back because of the uh, hesitation move that Kyle Phillips puts on him here. You know, again, just and that's it. That's creating space right there. Let's take a look at it one more time. Boom, boom, boom. And then create space. So again, I think, you know, just looking at these clips here, um, you know, he look, it's just a really good inside outside move there. Again, get that defender to go inside and look, look at the defender's hips there are turned. He creates space and then makes a nice body control adjustment on the play. Again, just I'd like the variation on this this route. I mean, the defender doesn't know what he's doing and bad pass. But nonetheless, I like how he got the defender off platform. Again, there's the space. That's what he does. I think he excels in it. I think he's pretty damn good at it. Another play. A lot of them look the same. So, his, you know, his route tree isn't extensive. But again, for his role that I see in the NFL of being a slot guy, this is what he needs to do. 
nice just body catch there or a catch rather. So again, here's just a nice, like a little variation in tempo. Doesn't know if he's going to go a little deeper. Doesn't know if he's going to like maybe go inside, outside, but the defender's flat footed, doesn't know what to do. And boom, he just cuts on the outside, makes the nice grab, gets outside. So you see this kind of over and over again, just the tempo of the footwork. Um, now he went inside there. That defender probably thought he was going outside, probably set him up earlier. You see the defender thinks he's going outside. Now he goes inside, finds the gap, you know, gets a few yards there. Another play here. We're getting the variation in footwork, bad pass, but nonetheless, you can see the footwork. It's trying to set that defender up. Which way is he going? Would have been a nice play if in fact the ball would have been where it was supposed to be. Um, you know, I kind of like this route here again, goes in and then he cuts outside. He's got the defender beat right there and then, you know, jams out to the on an out route and then again makes the great grab. This is going to lead us into our next trait, which is hands and ball skills. But this kid's got some body control. He's got, you know, some some, you know, footwork. I mean, look at the foot drag. That's not that's not bad, man. You know, I mean, at least he's giving it a whirl out there. Knows what he needs to do. Ball skills and hands. I think this is one of his better traits, too. I know his 62% pass completion uh, or completion percentage was, or his uh, reception percentage wasn't great. But, I mean, this kid's made some grabs here, as you're going to see. I mean, that's a, that's a really nice grab, nice route on an out route again. You know, again, the footwork, the foot drag. Okay. Kind of like the hesitation on here. He lulls this guy to sleep in his own coverage. Goes around, but again, it's all about the catch point here. Knows he's going to get hit, brings it in, secures the ball, touchdown. He's got a little physicality to him there, box that guy out. This was a really nice play, a, a boundary play right here. Goes up, snatches the ball. Again, tries to get a couple extra yards. Now here's a little vertical play. He's got some vertical portion to his game. A little diving action here in the, in the, end, in the end zone. So, yeah, he's not the fastest guy. doesn't have a lot of separation there. I get it. But this segment of the, of the film grind is all about hands, ball concentration, ball skills. Another out route here. Creating space. Oh, I'm sorry. He kind of went up. You know, not an out route. Again, you know, gave a little shimmy there. But, again, it's all about the, the concentration, the grab. So again, in the NFL, man, if this guy can win between five and 20 yards and move the chains on those important third downs, I think that's what his role is. I'm not expecting anything more than that. Again, this is a really good. He's coming in here, going across the field, making the body adjustment. Look at the body adjustment. And then this two feet down. Again, another angle. You know, I love how he tries to get two feet down. You know, he's getting ready for the NFL, man. He wants to put this shit on tape so people can see his footwork. Last one here. Nothing special about that route, but again, just the, you know, just the ability to catch the ball and the, and the you know, trying to get the two feet down. All right, let's talk about his speed and his yards after catch. I don't think he's a lead at any means in this department. You know, I don't believe he's got great long speed at 4.4. I think we talked about earlier. Um, but again, I think he's got a little bit of yak ability, some physicality to his game. Um, here's a nice play here, just kind of showing his, uh, his footwork a little bit, his cutting ability, his acceleration. Um, you know, it's nothing special, but it's not horrible either. All right, here he is at the top again in the slot. All right, he's showing a little vertical play here. Okay, splits the defenders. So he's got a little, little, little game to him in, this, in the vertical game. Seen enough to see. Here he is running around. Again, this is how I put this clip in here because this is how I see him being used in the NFL, right? It's going to be kind of around the line of scrimmage, in the slot, in motion. It's going to be kind of going around, doing out routes, you know, slant, quick slant routes. Again, nice grab there. Um, this is not, this is, I wanted to put in here, this is not where I see him excelling, but doesn't mean he can't get better, you know, in a, in a kind of a, a yak ability here. This is not his strong point of his game. But nonetheless, I wanted to put that in here. But this play I love. This is my favorite play. The boy's got some shimmy to him. All right. So he's out of the backfield, gets the toss. Again, he's running the field. Watch what he does. Okay. You got to manipulate these defenders. He kind of loses balance here, but nonetheless, boom, boom. I just thought that was really good. Let's just take a look at it one more time. You know, he's navigating through space. Again, this is how I see maybe him being used in the NFL, shifty guy, just running with the ball. 
you know, getting that ball, physicality and athleticism. You guys know watching these films, I love physicality in my wide receivers. I think this guy's got some physicality to him. He's got the size, the build to be in the NFL. Um, nice little kind of stutter step route. But this route here, this, is, this isn't this is even a reception. I want, this is a very interesting. Okay, so here he is in the slot, right? All right, but he's going to lay a block. Charbonnet gets this ball. I think it's Charbonnet. It could be Britain. I'm not sure. But he's going out for a route, right? You see him there, and then he immediately turns into a blocker and puts this guy on his ass right there to help spring that running back. Okay, so here he is right here, coming around right here. Here he is, and he's expecting a pass maybe, but what I like about this play is the fact that immediately when he sees this running back getting the ball, he turns into a blocker and puts that guy on his ass to spring that. And I, and I again, this on tape is what NFL, I've seen this in his film, watching this All-22 film, uh, many, many games, is he is an engaging blocker. And as a wide receiver, uh, that is a good thing. All right, so here's this little stutter step, and just showing his physicality. Again, his, his little stutter step there, shedding the tackle, running. So he's got some moves to him. He's got a little bit of that. And then again, if his athleticism is shown here. He is a punt returner to final this film. And love the cutting here. Boom. Oh, accelerates upfield. So he could be a returner in the NFL. Um, you know, again, as to, uh, he might excel in this. So again, this is getting him on the field uh, on an NFL team by being a special teams contributor, especially if he is the fourth wide receiver on the team. So there you have it, man. There is his um, what he looks like playing on the field. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that film review on Kyle Phillips. You can see what I see. I think the kid's a good route runner. I think he's a space creator, and that's what it's about in the NFL. Yes, he's going to have a limited role. He's going to be limited to the slot in the NFL. Like I said, this is not a player that's going to rise up our draft boards. This is a guy that I think would might be a good target in round four or five of your upcoming rookie drafts, depending on landing spot, and perhaps he gets an early opportunity on an NFL team. But his draft capital, I mean, he's looking, he's a day three pick, maybe round four or five. He might slip to six. Who knows, right? But uh, it should be exciting nonetheless. And the other thing, too, is he just participated in the Shrine Bowl. Uh, not the game itself, but the practices leading up to the game this past weekend. He was getting a lot of great buzz as, as far as his route running and his space creation in practice. So I think the NFL scouts might now see what I see in Kyle Phillips, that he might be uh, a guy worth taking a shot on early in day three. He's As far as his dynasty projection on our teams, I mean, he's going to be a late round flyer, like I said, round four or five in our rookie drafts. Um, you know, but again, he's going to be a wide receiver three or four on a team. I can see a team taking him that needs a slot receiver like my Philadelphia Eagles would be a great pick. I'd love to see the Eagles to get a guy like Kyle Phillips, somebody who could just work that's the short intermediate areas of the field, be that security blanket, maybe for a younger quarterback. Um, but nonetheless, so a pro comp right here, you can see this tweet that I'm putting up here right now. The pro comp kind of is a Hunter Renfro, right? I mean, Hunter Renfro was five foot 10, 185 pounds. So Kyle Phillips is a little bigger, a little, you know, thicker, but nonetheless, I mean, Renfro was a day three pick. He was a round six pick in the NFL, four-year senior at Clemson. His junior year, he had over 600 yards. And before that, I mean, his you know freshman, sophomore, senior year, he didn't eclipse the 600-yard mark. So with that said, I like to bring that up because, yeah, you know, the production profile is something that a lot of people get excited about and think that's important. But to me as a film guy, it's what I see on the field. And I think Kyle Phillips is a good route runner and a space creator physical enough, I think, to be successful in the NFL. So I'm super excited for him. So there's my show, man. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I just brought maybe somebody else uh, to your attention who you can target and maybe uh, in your upcoming rookie drafts, maybe take a shot at because I know I will be having many, many shares of him as well. So leave me leave me your comment. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you think I'm out of my mind or if you like him and, or, or whatever. I love interacting with all the comments at the bottom. So I got tons more of this stuff coming out. So hit that subscribe button. And uh, until next time, take care.